Hello everyone, Lisa the Sensotech Jedi here again to show you the tools that we offer for Chromebooks. Now we will be staying within the main portal for this. We have other videos that would take a deeper dive into the safeguarding side of Chromebooks. And also you'll hear me reference a few times to check out our how-to playlist so that you can watch videos that go into each of the individual modules on how to use them. Again, this is just an overview of our Chromebook tools. For this, I have created a portal that would look like a teacher portal that contains our Chromebook tools. To the left, I have split up my groups into Google Classrooms and two groups that can be built within your Sensor portal. We do offer Google Classroom Sync, so that's what you're seeing here, that as a teacher, I would just see the users that I have added into my classrooms. So for this, I'm gonna look at that Chromebook group that I built and we're gonna concentrate on just Chromebooks. So in the thumbnail view, I have different ways to look at the thumbnail title. I can see the full information, the username, the device name, and the display name to help me look in the thumbnail view and see easily which users I would like to send and use uh, the modules on. If I click on an individual thumbnail, I can take it into just that one Chromebook and view it larger. I can also grab a screenshot as well within the thumbnail view. Outside of that, we're going to go up and talk about our modules now. Ban resources, you can block, whitelist, and lock them into a specific set of URLs using our allow only. You can enable, disable, and set this on a schedule. Again, please reference our how-to playlist to go into a deeper dive on that individual module. Block internet. Now this just blocks their ability to use a browser. It doesn't actually turn the internet off on the device. You'll see you get an indicator at the bottom that lets you know that the internet has been disabled, AKA they cannot use a browser to search for anything. When you have re-enabled the internet, the students will need to close the browser and open it back up to be able to go out to a, the Chrome browser and be able to search for and work online again. Okay, the next tool is block sound. Be able to mute the active tab and limit the volume level that the sound can go to. Next is going to be block USB storage. You can enable, enable, or check the current status, and you can allow USBs that are protected by BitLocker and allow a list or block a list of hardware. Broadcast screen, again, make sure to check our how-to playlist for a deeper dive into this. You can select individual or all of the devices, and then you will choose which one you would like to be your broadcaster. In this one, I'm gonna choose Augustus Nelson to be my broadcaster. That's the one I'm gonna choose from this list, and I have the option to show the broadcast in a window. Don't allow the users to close the broadcast and change the screen size. When I click start, it will then broadcast out that Chromebook screen to the other devices until I click stop, and then it will automatically close the broadcast down. Next is active tab. You have the ability to close the active tabs on these Chromebooks. If you have multiple tabs open and you continuously click run, it will then just keep closing those tabs down. The next one is launch applications and websites. With here, I would like to show that you can save these tools as shortcuts and you can also make your own icons. So you'll see that I'll be using both shortcuts and icons for this tool. So you can select again, individual or all of your devices. You can either copy and paste or type in which URL you would like to run and then it will push those websites out to all your devices or the individually selected devices. You'll also see now I'm going to use the shortcut that I've created for a different site and I will then click on the icon that I created as a shortcut for that WebEx site. So there's a couple of different ways that you can utilize this tool. You can also use this to run extensions. I will do a separate video about how to find the extension ID to copy and paste in here so that you can open extensions on these Chromebooks. The next tool is lock screen. You can change the color, you can put a customized message in, and this helps redirect the focus when you're giving instructions at the beginning of a lesson. So for this example, eyes to the front, they're focused on the instructions, then when the teacher is ready for the lesson to start and they go on their Chromebooks, they can unlock it. Okay. Next is send file. 
and documents. So you can upload your information from your device here. It will follow your cloud account around and then you can choose what you'd like to run, run it automatically, save to a specific location. You have a lot of options in here. You see that it will open up on their devices and they have the ability to copy it to a clipboard or save it into their cloud drive. And then the next one is send message. This is the ability to send a static message to your users and they will see who it comes from. So after I run it, I'm gonna go into thumbnail view so you can see down at the bottom that the new message from Mrs. Nelson, hello world, has been sent to my students. Okay, so I wanted to also speak about how unique our product is in the fact that we can see information outside of the browser. So it's not locked into just the active tab or the browser. You'll see on here, I'm acting as a student and I will go outside the browser and open up the apps and extensions that are installed in this Chromebook and you will be able to see that information. We do have another video series that shows you the different options you can set up as far as viewing active tab or having the students accept the share so that you can see everything outside of the browser. Okay, thank you for watching this video and learning about our suite of Chromebook tools. Have a great day.